Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. I'm here today with Brent Lindell. We're going to be demonstrating autonomous mobile robots. Brent's with Mir, the mobile industrial robot company. Brent actually used to work here in another life. Worst mistake he's ever made. I mean quitting, that is. Right, Brent? That's right, Dan. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So we took one of uh, Brent's robots and uh, we allowed it to explore our specialties. What is that process? Yeah, so uh, the Mir robot is, uh, I think, a huge benefit, extremely simple to program. So we, we bring the robot in. Uh, we use that robot to map the facility. We create the, the points and the missions all through the interface that's provided. Uh, so flexible, extremely simple to, to operate extremely simple to uh, to add top modules to it so the goal is just uh, ease of implementation and uh, allowing the operator to interface with it as as simple as possible so what we just saw there was our, our uh, automatic saw and poncho was sending parts over to the welding area he simply loads the parts into the carrier presses the button as to where to send it next now the uh, Looks like Estacio is sending the parts on to the machine shop. Yeah, and our goal is really to, to let the robot handle that non-value add, kind of uh, let it do the material flow through the facility uh, and let your operators you know, focus on their tasks, more time at doing what they do best, and then let the robot uh, you know, travel through the facility and, and, and handle those parts. So in our shop, we're building different robots, you know, custom robots for people. It's certainly not an assembly line. The shop's spread out over 80,000 square feet. We're having to move parts in all day long from one area to another. So we thought that possibly an autonomous mobile robot might be a great application for, for moving these parts. And it, it worked out pretty well for us. Yeah, I think the advantage, Dan, is the older technology, AGVs or auto-guided vehicles, required uh, wire embedded in the floor, tape, overhead sensors, and so you were set to a predetermined route. If something got in the way, the robot would just stop. Uh, also, with your shop, as much as it changes, uh, it would be really, really tough to have an AGV travel through your shop with all the, the moving parts. And so with the AMR, the Autonomous Mobile Robot, uh, we bring that robot in. As I said, we map it out, and now the robot has the ability to decide its route based upon the floor space that's available for it. Okay, what you see here is uh, Joe is taking the part. It's already been cut, welded, machined, and painted. Uh, we're ready for final assembly. I think he has a torch rack for an ARC 5PL. Yeah, he has a torch rack, so he's doing the final assembly of that torch rack. So that, that kind of took you through the whole process from the saw to welding to machining to paint to final assembly. Yeah, Mirror Robot, it's easy to program, extremely flexible, and, uh, and safe around your guys on the shop floor. Well, I want to thank Brent for coming in today and for loaning us this robot. We've been wanting to work with an autonomous mobile robot. The AGVs with the embedded wires just didn't really work for us, but this technology, I think, is going to work really well. So special thanks to Mir and to Brent Lindell. Thanks for coming today. Yeah, Dan, thanks, uh, thanks for having us out. Really appreciate it, and uh, feel free to visit our website at uh, mir-robots.com. Thanks again.